York Minster has welcomed a new dean into the city this weekend. He is the 76th dean to take the role, having been recognised for his work as the Bishop of Southampton. His installation took place in front of hundreds of onlookers. In, in all the rehearsals, I've been looking, when they've said Dean of York, I've looked to my right and left and then realised they were talking about me. So I shall have to get used and grow into the role. In classic Minster style, the service was stylish but traditional. I thought it was very good, very informative, because I've never been to an installation before uh, and I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, but uh, it was good and very easy to follow. So, it, um, yeah, very pleased with it actually. I think it's, as you say, it is traditional and it's part of the Minster and it shouldn't change. Um, there's no reason why it should change. It has happened like this for hundreds of years, so um, it will carry on. So, but, uh... The final challenge for the Dean was to respond to requests from members of the community. For the people of York, the Minster is as much theirs as yours. Will you maintain and develop the fabric of the Minster, its surroundings, York Minster also belongs to the many people who work here. Will you care for staff and volunteers, encourage the development of skills in the workplace, and value the contribution made by each person to our common life? But how are the people responding to the Dean? I think it's lovely. It's very personable, very nice. So I just say, yeah. I uh, hope I see him walking around the floor on the Tuesday morning. So, but yes, he's very nice indeed. So. And following a long day of ceremonies, what does the Dean make of his new role? I'm really looking forward to it. I, I found today um, enormously humbling and exciting in equal measure. I'm joining a great team who are, are looking forward and uh, I've got so much to learn but I, I'm very excited about today and it, humbled, really, by, by the occasion in this beautiful place. Following the ceremony, Jonathan Frost has been added to a long list of deans who have collectively served the city of York for over a thousand years. Kit Saylor, That's TV.